everyone, welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna explore the base maps in GE map with Earth Engine, a handsome guide to import a different base maps in GE map. So let's get started. So now let's open our GE map. So first go to the search section. So in that we're gonna search as a Hanaconda prompt. So now we can able to visualize our first search section. We can observe there is a Hanaconda prompt. Click this option, click this prompt. So now the Hanaconda prompt has been opened. Now enter this code Hanaconda ENV list. So now we can able to visualize I have entered as Hanaconda ENV list. Now click enter. So now let me enter another code called uh, Hanaconda activate GE. So now I have entered as Hanaconda activate GE. So now click enter. So we're going to open uh, access of a GE map using our Jupyter Notebook. Now enter as Jupyter Notebook. So now have entered as Jupyter Notebook. Now click enter in your keyboard. So now it's going to open our Jupyter Notebook using our default browser. So we can visualize it now. So we have created a folder called GEE. So we're going to click this folder. So now we're going to create a new notebook, Jupyter Notebook. So for that, go to this new section. In that, we're going to click Python 3. So now let me enter the name. So now I have uh, entered the name Exploring Base Map. So click this option called Rename. So now you can visualize the title Exploring Base Map. So now we're going to explore, I'm going to exp uh, import our base map into our uh, Jupyter Notebook. So I'm going to type some codes. So now to import our base map uh, into our Jupyter Notebook, we have defined import GE map. Here the map equals to GE map dot map function. And last we define map to import our base map of Google Earth Engine. So now uh, to execute this code, we have to uh, click this option called Alt and Enter. So make sure that you press Alt and Enter. So now we can able to visualize uh, our base map that is uh, we have imported from our Google Earth engine. So we can visualize the base map here. So here we are using a three sets of codes to uh, create our interactive map. Uh. So now suppose if you want to you want to add a different base map. You have to do uh, you have to write a code stating so to add a different base map you have to enter as map dot add base map double quotes so in between the double quotes you have to enter the what base map you want to add for example i have entered the base map uh, name called open street map so i have entered map dot add a base map the base map name of the base map is open street map between the double quotes so now to run this code you have to click alt and enter so now we can able to visualize here a new base map has been popped up here. So in that we're going to check the layer. So you can able to visualize we have two different layer. One map represents here that is Google Maps and the second map here represents our open street map. So now let us visualize our open street map. So currently we are visualizing our open street map. So similarly, if you want to add a different uh, base map, you have to uh, use the similar code, but except we have to mention the, the base map name. So now let me add a terrain base map. Uh, so for that, we're going to enter. So here we are entered as map dot add base map. So here we mentioned the name of the base map layer that is terrain. So now to run this, you have to click alt and enter. So now we are currently visualizing our terrain uh, base map. So let me show you that. So here we have uh, three different uh, layers. Now we have Google Maps, Open Street Maps, and Google Terrain. So visualize terrain. We had to just zoom it. So let me uh, zoom it as part of the region. So you can able, clearly able to visualize the different uh, terrain features here. So now you can clearly able to visualize the different terrain uh, features. So any part of the world, you can visualize the different terrain features using this particular base map terrain. 
So next base map we're gonna import is our S3's uh, satellite image. So for that we're gonna type the similar code except we're gonna type in here as a, we're gonna enter as a satellite. So now we can able to visualize have entered as a map dot add uh, base map and uh, in the between the double codes we have entered as satellite. So to run this we have to click Alt and enter. So now we, we are here we are currently visualizing our uh, S3 satellite image. So uh, you can uh, let me zoom into this part of the study region. So it is basically a high resolution satellite image. So you can visualize it uh, more clearly here. So it is a high resolution image, it is more clear. So now let me show you that where there's all uh, resources being available. Let me show you that. So all the resource for the GE map is available in, uh, in this website, GitHub. So author has provided all the different uh, resources for GE map. So here, let me show you the base map for uh, here, for our GE map. So here, go to the folder called uh, GE map folder. So in that, we're gonna select the base map. Uh, so we're gonna select this base map. So in that, we have a variety of different uh, base maps I mean, available. So all we have to do is just we have to uh, copy this terrain uh, as uh, the name, the terrain, and we have to copy it. And we are go to the uh, Jupyter notebook. So here we're gonna uh, to add this, add those base map. We all we have to do is map dot add layer base map. We're gonna enter the name of the base map called terrain. So similarly, there is a variety of different base maps available here, starting from open street map, road map, satellite, and there is a hybrid map. So there is a variety of different uh, base maps available to import into our uh, GE map. So now let me get back to our Jupyter notebook. So now uh, currently we have around uh, four different uh, base map uh, that is our Google Maps, OpenStreetMap, Google Terrain and Google Satellite. So we have four set of layers available. So we have added four set of layers, base map layers imagery false color composite and we have entered the hybrid um, base map layer so we can visualize here so we have now uh, round so we have currently around six different um, base uh, base map so now we are visualizing our google hybrid uh, imagery so in that you can able to visualize the outline boundaries and uh, the names is uh, displayed here and the road layers that is our uh, road maps so in this base map we can able to visualize uh, hybrid uh, features like uh, we can able to visualize satellite image and also the the road maps as well as the name of the places so we have uh, in this video we have uh, visualized the different we have loaded a different base map into our g map starting from our google maps that is about Google Maps and next we have used our OpenStreetMaps and uh, next we used our Google Terrain and Google Satellite and USGS imagery and last we have uh, currently we are visualizing our Google Hybrid imagery. So in this video we have shown you uh, the different base maps in GE map and how to import our base map in uh, GE map and also we have visualized the different resources available uh, in GE map. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.